Hey guys, Josh Sheffield the Landscapes back again today with a 14 by 14 inch canvas. I love this little chemtrail off in the distance back here. Might be hard for you guys to see, but we really worked on cloud shapes, how to create a mountain that's covered in snow, but not completely covered where you, you know, you don't just have a pure white mountain, right? Got all of our texture in our trees, all, every, all the highlights stuck perfectly. And there's lots of places where you could go, you know, from these techniques. So hope you enjoy painting this one with me. We're gonna get started. We're gonna do it just like this. Hey guys, today we have uh, sap green, dark sienna, van dyke brown, phthalo blue, alizarin crimson, midnight black, titanium white, bright red, and uh, cad yellow. Might not use all the colors. We're gonna do a really cold kind of wintry scene. Um, We'll kind of figure it out. Maybe we won't. Maybe we'll do something different, right? So we did go with a sunset in our last tutorial. So why don't we do a just a cold, dark blue sky, right? We're taking blue and black up into our sky, just sort of dropping in the color, right? Just putting it in, sort of figuring out where we think we want our clouds and stuff like that. It's gonna be a real fast painting today, guys. Do a quick painting, knock it out, be easy for me to edit, right? That's the bit that you guys don't see, the hours and hours and hours and hours of editing all the footage, right? And take that same sort of blue and black, let's have some water in this painting. And we'll pull from the side, right? We want to get this like shimmer onto the water. Get a little bit more black for down here. I like having it darker in the corners than it is, you know, elsewhere. <laughs> so let's drag some of this, drag it over here. We'll have a bit of crazy looking shimmer on this water, right? Just straight over as you can get it. And then we're gonna leave this sort of light area right there, right? And blend everything else together. Blend everything else. Now, if you leave it nice and thick, you get these real dark blue areas, the blue and black. If you blend it out, it becomes much softer, right? So we're gonna blend it out like that. And we're gonna come in, take our two inch brush, and just with crisscross strokes, I'm just gonna blend this together, right? Just blend it together. Try to leave some of that light area for our, our clouds, right? You can go over it a few times. It'll still say stay, you know, relatively light. Same with our water. We'll come over. Not too much, because I really want to have that shimmer in there, right? I have that cool shimmer. Got our light area up here, and the more and more we go over it, the less and less white it becomes. So be careful. Very dark, cold blue painting today, right? We're gonna get the same blue and black. And why don't we throw underneath, it's going to be like this big bit of shadow that goes off in the background, and maybe there's some down there, and some underneath, right? Just sort of guessing, Just and it all depends on whatever your shape looks like. If your shape doesn't look like my shape, then we're not going to be in business, right? Get that dark blue, right? We're not really mixing it so it's much darker than the rest, you can see the difference in the blue, right? And then we're going to blend that in sort of down into this cloud. And just very lightly and just sort of spin it. So we have this bit down here, right? Again, this is going to be a fast painting, so you guys got to keep up. Got to keep up. Take some of our white, our titanium white, and stay on the edges of this kind of cool looking shape that we made, right? And it comes down in like that, and then we're going to blend it and everything too, so don't worry about the, the shape and you know, its exactness. It doesn't have to be perfect, right? I'll wash off our brush here. Beat the devil out of it, right? Right into our paint thinner, and then we just beat the devil out of that brush. You know what I want to do before we do this? Let's take a couple of the the darker areas and just put some of that dark blue, just the phthalo blue right in there, just straight onto it. And then as we start to mix these clouds together, right, we're gonna get these cool shadows that we didn't even plan on just from that blue mixing in with itself there. Look at that beautifulness, right? Get this big old giant cloud, nice and puffy. 
And then we're gonna take it and we're just gonna swipe it to the side, right? Very soft, very softly over here. There we go. You can just, you can blend it until your heart's content, right? Just whatever you want it to look like, that's what the, the, the girl's gonna look like, okay? Let me swipe down on a couple of these just because we're right at the top. There we go. Very soft little cloud. Now I'm taking a bit of uh, crimson and blue and black and we're going to come in and make like a bigger bit of shadow that cuts this guy off. All right. Come up here, we're just gonna start blending out this dark colored shape. All right, just bringing it down, bringing it up, whatever you wanna do. All right, because this is a new cloud that is formed in front of that further off cloud. It's not the, not the base of it. It's something new, right? It's sitting in front of that big cloud back there. And we can come back in and now we can add a few more of our brighter clouds in the front. Grab some of that white. And again, it doesn't have to be a perfect shape, right? It doesn't have to look like anything you've ever seen. It just has to be there, that's all. Just be there, be present. Be present for class, right? Let's bring this one up this way. Let's spin our hand the other way around. All right, bringing them into there. Now we've got this sort of trapped area of shadowy cloud in our, in our bit of white clouds, right? Just looks really neat. And that's what you gotta do. You gotta sit there and you gotta play with it until you like the way that it looks. Doesn't matter what everyone else's looks like, just matters what yours looks like. And if you like that look, there we go, we'll drop this sucker in there. Just change it up just a little bit. There we go. And like again, you can sit there and play with it until you are satisfied with what it looks like, right? I like the way that one looks up there. And it doesn't have to be an exact shape or a perfect cloud or anything else. You know, it doesn't have to do anything. Just has to what, guys? It's just got to be there. That's all. All you want it to do is just be there and not blend it so much that it completely disappears, right? Swipe up a little bit, come to the side. There we go. Now I just got this little bit of storminess back there. These things look like eyeballs and a mouth, right? And some of the times you plan on stuff like that, and then some of the times not. So we're gonna take this and just sort of get rid of that real dark blue color. And again, we're just sort of disturbing what it looks like so we can then swipe over it and make it go away, right? You just wanna swipe a couple times. You don't wanna blend it all the way, you just wanna swipe it, okay? All right, what have we been going at? Eight minutes for our sky, not too bad, not too shabby, guys. Okay, let's get up some blue and some black and crimson. We're gonna mix those up into a gigantic pile of dark colored paint. All right, we're gonna make a huge mountain on this one. Got our bit of water down underneath. This nice, cold, snowy painting, okay? So we're gonna grab our knife, and why not? Let's see, there's a bit of Bit of mountain that just lives wherever it wants to live. All right, and then I like to drop in a little bit of uh, just random color, really. That's all it is, just taking that color and putting it in random places so that when we go to blend it out, it's different colors everywhere, right? Take our one inch brush, just because it's a smaller size canvas. And we're gonna pull down on these mountains and decide sort of which way they're gonna live, right? Maybe there's a shelf over there, and then you got this section, and it comes down this way, maybe this one's further away, or it comes up and there's a hump there, and then it goes off to the side. Totally up to you what you want them to look like. All right. Now we got this little floating mountain out there in the distance, we just sat there, right? And you can tell all the little differences, little differences in color. So you can see all these differences, these dark areas, these little bits of color everywhere, back and forth, this, that, and the other place, right? 
then you can go in and just sort of make new things happen just by adding a little bit darker color in some spots, right? And you'll get differences. That's all we're looking for is a little difference in color. Maybe this bit comes down and comes over here and then you can sort of lay out how you want your, you know, the shape of your mountain to be and add color where it needs it and everything else. Okay, and then you can go back in and just sort of stay on those lines, right? If we're gonna do a winter painting, we gotta have some snow, so we're gonna take some blue and white. A little bit more white than blue. It is a very strong color. We're gonna take some of our dark color, the, our mountain mixture, right? What we, what we created our mountain with. We're gonna add that to there, and it's gonna be this very similar color to what we have. But we're not over mixing it, right? So we've got these differences. And that way when you pull down on your mountain, you'll get all these little breaks and different things happening, different colors, and it really looks neat. Let me pull a little bit this way. All right, and just drag it down, throw it off to the side. All right, and then we can come back over it and sort of, you know, dull down any light areas it didn't get, you know, fully covered. And then you want to have a bit down around the bottom where you can get some fog going into that thing, right? There we go. Let's say this mountain too, maybe it doesn't all get covered in snow. So we'll take our brown and our white and we'll create this sort of, you know, dirt color. And again, we're not going to over mix. So we've got all these different lighter areas and darker areas and everything to our, our mountain, right? And so maybe this dirt area lives right here and it comes down this way. Just like that. Maybe it goes off like that. Never know. That was a lot of paint right there, guys. Like we can even flip it over. Get some fog going on the bottom of this guy. Maybe there's a bit of that same brown up in here. Right, just a little bit, because I don't want I want to have a lot of snow, right? We got out all the snow. We got to have a lot of snow on this sucker. And maybe just a couple areas where the there's a bit of, you know, dirt on the mountain. Like this one back here. Maybe it just sits out in the sun. And it just it's covered in dirt all day. It sits out in the sun, gets warm. Right? What happens when snow gets warm? It melts. It melts. Maybe there's a bit more down here. Totally up to us what we want to do with it, right? And then we can let our snow blend in with that and all sorts of stuff. And I can almost see we've got this little area where maybe there's a bit of shadow right here. All right, sort of behind that little peak, a little bit of shadow. And then we can run our snow down through there, it'd be awesome. Okay, we're gonna take our snow now, we're gonna come up and just grab in different places, right? Try not to cover all of our little rocky area. And then we're gonna pull it down in kind of a, you know, one fell swoop. Pull it down like that, right? Different places get covered in snow. We got rock in certain places. Maybe there's a bit of snow just right, just resting on the top there. And there's some over here coming down the mountain maybe. There's a little bit. It's filled in there, right? I also like to throw my shadows in. So why don't we do a couple little shadowy areas inside of our rock. All right? We'll cover that area with our rocky bit and then we'll come back with our snow and just sort of whatever kind of fills in, fills in, right? Just like that. Now we got this bit of both. A little bit of both back here. Take our shadows. Throw them into our mountain back there. Maybe there's this little ribbon of shadow back here. Comes down. We can blend all that stuff in. And we got a bit down here. Something that comes down there or is stuck in between. Just different little places where we can slide in some of that real dark black, right? Without going over our cool snow bits and ruining them.
<laughs> like we just did. But that's okay. You come back in, fix everything up, right? I'm sorry if I'm in your guys' way. I'm trying to trying to lay out a mountain here. Guys got way too much paint on that one. And we got it down in there. Comes down this way. And you could just sit and make a giant mountain out of this whole thing. You know what I mean? You don't have to have an idea when you go into your painting. It doesn't have to look like anything. It doesn't have to do anything. Let me throw a little bit of like a flat area here. It shoots off that way. Sort of in the shadow. Sort of not. I do want like a bit of white. There we go. Just along the edge of that. Maybe there's some over here. Man, oh, it's thick over there, guys. Right, and then remember, take a step back and look at it because you want to have shadow. My, uh, my, my brain wants to cover all of this with the white or the dark, right? But when you come look at it, it looks like there's a shadow being cast across the, the landscape right there. So we're going to continue with that blue and, and blackish kind of down in here. Maybe we can create that same sort of effect with this shadow coming down this one. I want it to sort of match that same color, so that's what we're trying to do. Mixing in the dark just right here on the canvas. Sort of creating it as we go, right? That's what Josh likes to do. There we go, now we got that sort of shadowy color. Some of that blue in. Maybe it goes behind there. Maybe there's a bit of, so it's not making sense to my brain. There's a bit of area that we can't see back there. Which helps push all that shadow and everything back. Right, a couple little bits of shadowing inside of our mountain here and then we're gonna, gotta be done. You guys know I love my details. But if we're going to do something else on this, we did put the water in, we might as well use it, right? There's a bit of snow. It just rests along the edge. It comes down here and it just gets lit up. Bam. Just a little bit. Maybe there's a little bit of light back there. And maybe off in the distance, right? Just a couple little pieces of, of light to catch your eye. And why don't we go, if we got all that snow up here, why don't we go some snow over here too. And just pull it down as far as you want, right? As far as you want, because then we're going to make a bunch of fog out of it, so don't worry about it anyway. Do you want to do like... Just sort of mixing these in right here in this little flat area of my mountain just so it gets that shadow color just right just how I want it just right baby cover over some of those shadows with our, our blue maybe we get a little bit of a little bit of snow come down right Sometimes you gotta lay it on thick. There we go. All right, where are we at? 19 minutes, okay. We're gonna take our two inch brush, gonna tap this sucker down, right? Tap it down, making all this fog in the same direction that we put it on. Okay, we're gonna swipe up. Again, in the same direction that we laid our highlights down. Right, you swipe up as, as far as you feel comfortable, okay? As far as you guys want, you can swipe. That is on you. Still got our nice little glare down here. Now that's all of a sudden, it's just all of a sudden too white for me. There we go. A little bit of, a little bit of shadow, a little bit of snow, a little bit of everything, right? little bit of everything. I want to have some thick areas down in here. 
And in order to have some thick areas, you got to have a lot of paint on your knife. Let me tell you what. Let me tell you what, guys. Just a little bit more rock in there. I really like that mountain. That turned out really great. That turned out great. What I'm doing now is just sort of putting in just a couple little imperfections and humps and bumps and a little black line, just showing you that that's where the, the mountain is. But man, that looks good. Wow. Wow. Okay. Drop those little bits back down in there. Now we're going to clean our brushes. We've got serious amounts of blue paint on there. I like doing videos where I can show you guys that you don't have to wash your brush so often. You don't have to do it after every different thing, you know what I mean? You just don't got to do it. What are we looking like back here? good looking good I like those clouds back there they're very soft very soft bit of cloud back there you know what else looks cool is if you put like a uh, you put like a little chem trail off in the distance I'll put one on this side just a little streak of white paint right there it just brings a little bit of a uh, you know humanity into into your paint, right? There's a little bit of us in there, even though we made you know it looks like we're out at you know Mount Everest. There's a little bit of of humanity back in there, right? <clears throat> Which is what people like. People like a cabin or something that shows you know humans were were here, right? So you got to give them that sometimes. Again, you just play with it until you like it. It's all I'm doing, guys. Just taking a step back, looking at it, deciding where I want to go, what we're going to do. And I got an idea. We're going to take those same sort of mountainy colors, and we're going to come in and do like a like a far off bit of like little foothill, little footy hill, as Bob called them, right? It's a little bit of foothill, way off in the distance back there. And then we're gonna wipe off a lot of that paint and just sort of take it, and again, just dragging it down. And all that's doing is just sort of fogging up the bottom of it, right? Gonna get some fog down there in the bottom. We haven't ruined our, our, uh, our bit of glare yet, right? Just put some glare on there. We got this far off bit. And again, we want it to be lighter towards the bottom and that way we can come in with another bit all right and that looks good i like the way this is looking guys all right and this one i'm adding a little bit more blue color to it and so when we come in you can really see this bit of blue right Difference in color, a little bit different change. That's all we want is a little different change in color. <clears throat> and then again, I want to come in and I want to dab this guy down, dab him down, just so there's a little bit of fog underneath. Or we can take him and pull him down so we can have these reflections in our water, right? All depends on what we want to do. Man, that looks so cool back here. And then we'll throw these trees up in the front. Everything will be great. Be great, guys. It's funny because I can't see it. I've, I've got all this glare from the light over here, right? Casting all this glare that I can't see. So a lot of times, if you see me like bending down or coming in front of the camera, it's so that I can see my own creation, right? We might not even need the water down at the bottom. We could just do these little, little foothills. Maybe there's a maybe there's a bit of forest. So it comes in from the side. Right, a little bit of 
little bit of trees coming in from the side. Make those real dark like that. That is not a bad painting at all, you guys. That looks really neat. What I want to do though, we can come back in and fix our trees, but what I want to do is put this little bit of water line way back on this last little foothill right here. So it's almost like we're looking down over the water, right? And then we can come back in and pop in those couple little trees that we want to stand in front. Really darken it up down here. We could put a whole nother big tree here. We could put a big tree on the side over here. If we kept going, this is what's cool guys. You can literally make it up as, as you go. And right? if we kept going and just let it kind of fade off along over here, we can still see we have water back there and uh, we can throw you know white highlights on these trees or do a giant tree over here it's all different places you can go but i you guys know me i love a big old ass tree or a big old butt tree and some bushes right it's fun it's it helps you guys you know take a chance when i first started painting i it was hard to do that big tree because i didn't want to ruin what i had done right i don't want to, want to get rid of all this love this this is one of my best mountains ever now i gotta throw a chuck a big tree in front of it and so you get this anxiety sort of where you don't want to do that i don't want to ruin it right you don't want to ruin the thing but well, maybe over here we've got this big old sucker and he just comes down and as i get closer to the bottom i'm pushing in more which is extending my trunk out right you guys see that then we'll come in and just pop them on there and then as we come down if you start picking up too much white from your mountain back there just go grab some paint thinner from your cup come back remember you want it super thick i want to deposit chunks of of paint onto the canvas i want it to be hanging off at me like reaching out at me right that's how you get all that texture so let that let that paintbrush stick itself to the to the canvas, and then you have these cool little bits of of uh, textured branches. You know what I mean? And don't go too crazy down here at the bottom. Really, not a big deal. We could put a big bush in front of that, or or something else. You know what I mean? You could do the whole tree off the bottom of the canvas, and then it would look like you got all this different stuff in there. But for me. He looks a little bit lonely, so we're going to put a little shorter guy over to the side and just sort of fill in this space and really fill it in, you know what I mean? You don't want to be able to see through it too much, right? We want, to, we want people's eye to come around here. Your, your eye gets lost in all this dark, so you don't want to look through there. Your eye wants to come around the side of the, of the painting, right? We could even do another giant one over here. We could do one off to the side. We could do a little one. Maybe this guy is like leaning this way. And so you got the same motions, right? Making our same little tree. It's just sort of dipping off the side. You never know. You never know what these trees are gonna do. Okay, I'm gonna take this chunk that we've got up at the top here and just make this straight little line, just a little bit, just so it's very straight at the top, okay? Very straight. We're at 30 minutes. We're about to be done. This is a quick one compared to Josh's Josh's videos, right? All right. We need a fair amount of liquid white as I just throw it all over the place. A little bit of our titanium white. And since we've got so much blue in this painting, let's grab some of this blue and it'll be like our little shadowy tree color, right? You don't need a lot. Remember, the blue is very, very thick. So you don't need a lot of it. What I'm going to do here, just do a couple of these branches down around the bottom because I don't like using this brush. But I have so much paint in it that I don't want to just get rid of all of it, you know what I mean? Now, if you guys are fans of mine, you guys know I am a fan of the micro fan brush, okay? So again, we got that same little bit of blue. 
and come up. I like touching the top in a straight line, just like that, if we were zoomed in, Josh, right? And then come back and just touch every so often. You don't need um, to push very hard. You know, whatever whatever sticks, sticks. You don't gotta, you don't wanna force it, right? Back here, we can touch this guy. Maybe he's got a couple branches that come out, but he mostly gets lost in this bigger one, right? Wipe off all that paint again. Come back in with our lighter blue color. And again, just touch in different places, like where you would think a branch would be, okay? You can go all the way down to the bottom, just like that. Now this one, you can see our pile keeps getting darker and darker every time we touch the paint again, right? Which is fine because this one I want a little bit darker. He's a little further away. So I touch him like that, come down again, not covering all of his shadows or anything. Just making his branches, right? Make his branches down. Maybe this guy over here. Again, it's hard to see, so don't judge me, right? Just put a couple little bits of of highlight on these things just so they're not the that same like darkish color right put a couple little highlights in there again i can't see so <laughs> doesn't matter what we put on right can't look at it <clears throat> all right well that was a quick little easy painting super fast guys very simple to do your foothills off in the distance get your uh get your liquid white and your and your um, water lines easy right Showed you a nice little easy painting you could do very quickly. And try not to ruin it like I do. All right, there we go. Straight off back there. But nice quick little easy one for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you try this one. Send it to me when you try it. I love seeing everyone's, you know, recreations of my work. So send it in and, um, you know, I'll premiere it on my Facebook page or something, right? We'll do something with it. But I really like how this one came out. We got that, we got our like, you know, giant like Everest style sort of mountain. And uh, you know, I had a great time painting it. I hope you guys did too. So take care. We'll see you on the next, you know, painting really. And uh, we're gonna say goodbye. We're gonna do it like we always do it, which is just like this. Bye, bye, I'll see you later. Wow, take care, bye. Bye everyone, bye. Hey guys, Josh, Happy Little Landscapes, back again today with 14 by 14 inch canvas, cold blue, very kick. All right, we're gonna do the intro now real quick, make sure we got time, all right, we got time. This is gonna be one of the fastest videos ever. Goodbye, goodbye. Oh, goodbye. Are we still filming? <laughs> ah! All right, bye bye. Okay, well, that's it. Bye guys, see ya.